I think it uh, differs on a couple of dimensions. One is that it, it's very comprehensive. A lot of the previous evaluations of the CGIR uh, just took one or cases or specific cases, for example, smallholder dairy in, in Kenya or uh, biocontrol for, for plants and looked at these kind of uh, shining examples to, to see what impacts they had. Whereas this book attempts to catalogue all of the impacts of over 40 years of research at, at Ilri, Ilrad, Ilka, and is, is very comprehensive. Another important dimension is that it focuses on three different types of impact, which are often not well differentiated. The first is uh, science impact. Then the second is looking at capacity, including policy, including changes in policy, including uh, graduate fellows developed, including uh, farmers and value chain actors who have their capacity increased. And then the third element is looking at actual impact, development impact, in as far as did the beneficiaries' lives get better. And as such, it is a very, again, it is a very comprehensive way of looking at a range of impacts and not just focusing on the, the impact factors, on the research impacts, which are often the easiest to, to measure, but only take you some of the way along that theory of change from outputs to outcomes to final impacts. It's always easier for one institution to get a grant uh, and then set out their own plans uh, and you know implement. When you're trying to work with a lot of different institutions, a lot of different moving parts, there's a lot of coordination required and a lot of just coming onto the same page and speaking the same language. Uh, on the other hand, we, we really have found that these, if you don't partner with people, if you don't work closely with other institutes, it's very hard to have impact and it's even very hard to have good outcomes. So it is increasingly the modality of, of the way we work. And of course, this is very much aligned to the thinking around one health and eco health that any single discipline only has one perspective only sees one part of the problem it's like, like the old proverb about that the the sages trying to work out what the elephant in the room is when they're all wearing blindfolds and, and all of them can see their own bit very nicely that's a rope that's a pillar but you need all of them together to actually decide what is the elephant in the room and yes that that is is one of the the key key pillars of One Health, and it's there for a reason, because it works. These were issues that had been neglected, partly because there really wasn't so much evidence that they were essential to the development agenda. Now, in the case of food safety, it was actually um, some papers which were developed by studies developed by World Health Organization, which showed the burden of foodborne disease to be comparable to that of uh, malaria, HIV, AIDS or tuberculosis. So it, it went from being considered very low down the health agenda to moving quite high up the health agenda. Similarly, with One Health, what really brought that to attention was, was some diseases just jumping out of uh, animals into people, notably diseases like SARS, uh, Ebola, bird flu, MERS. And at the same time, we had been working in these areas for like 10 or 15 decades before, because before everybody sort of realized that these were big issues, uh, ILRI, with its unique perspective, its unique position in developing countries, looking at these issues, they were on our horizon before they were on anyone else's horizon. And so when they came up the development agenda, we were, and people looked around and saying, who's working on this? And hey, it's Ilri. They've been working on this for 10, 15 years. So that is very important, knowing or having a feel for what is going to come up, be important and being there, being in the right place at the right time. And then the second thing I would say is, identifying other people, because again, this is something we can't do by ourselves. So identifying other people, institutes, organizations who are also very interested and strong in this, this arena and having good partners with them. And in both, um, you know, One Health and Food Safety, we've been able to work with people like uh, World Bank, 
uh, World Health Organization, uh, OIE, which is the World Animal Health Organization, and sort of going World Trade Organization, African Union, very important. So going hand in hand with these organizations, again, really makes our work much more influential and impactful.